Hi, brothers and sisters and friends. So, I don't know why, but I just felt led to do one more video before I go to bed. And it came to me in the shower because I want you to know the Bible tells us those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's all about your heart. And Jesus knows our heart. Yahweh knows our heart. And so if you truly are sorry for your sins, if you truly believe with all your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and that he was he, that he died for you and that he is risen and he's alive the holy spirit will come stay with inside your heart you just have to invite him in to be your lord and to be your savior so when you do that you are officially sealed you have become a child of god and so you have a sealing okay it takes time okay when you have a ceiling something happens when you're serious and you repent you turn away you de you you decide to follow god you know and i know it's hard because it means dying to yourself every single day you know and when you have addiction when you have, I mean, when you have trials, it, it's very hard, but it can be done. And if you fall, because you are sealed, God will save you. Because you are sealed, you will be saved. Now, if you completely walk away turn your back on the Lord and pretty much deny him and start doing wrong and following right after that sin that God delivered you from and brought you out of and you stayed in it and you just completely rebelled that's another story because because you called upon the name of the Lord, but then you just rebelled him. You you just that's just like I don't know, like something happened and you ended up just going the wrong way. And now that I can't tell you whether or not you will be saved. You know what I mean? Because that's not my place to judge. That is the father's so but from what I know and from what the word says is that it's in your heart so if you in your heart if you truly leave the Lord and follow after evil and run after evil and don't read your Bible and you do not pray then your heart is with the devil but if you have repented for your sins and you know it, it's not it's an everyday thing it's an everyday thing to bring our sins to the Father and to tell him you know that we are aware of what we've done and you know for the blood to just cover it to remove it you know for, for today we live one day at a time because we're not promised tomorrow we live one day at a time and, you know, we have to make sure everything is covered and we're swiped clean. And tomorrow is a new day. You know, God gives us a new day, a fresh new start every single day. His mercies are new every day, every morning. And so, praise the Lord for that. That is a merciful, loving Father we have to do to allow his mercies to be new every morning every day for us because he knows that we are not perfect he knows 
that we are going to slip and we are going to fall. But when we fall, don't stay down. Don't stay down. Get back up. And because you have Jesus on your side and the angels and the army of heaven behind you and around you and surrounding you, you will be okay. He will guide you. The Holy Spirit will guide you right back on that path. But if you slip, God is merciful and His grace is sufficient for you. If you have slipped and yet you are seeking after Him and you are praying the same and you are reading the, your Bible the same and you want out of that sin that you slipped in, He will bring you out of it. Just keep seeking. Keep seeking. Keep praying. Keep doing the right thing. And He will bring you out of it. It, it means work on your part though. So if, it, if it, you're hanging out with the wrong people, or if you're doing, like, if you're going to the bar, or, you know what I'm saying? If you're putting yourself in places that you shouldn't be in, you know, you're, you're going to get pulled down. But God is there to pick you up. <laughs> so I know that there's a lot of people that the enemy is attacking your mind. And he is causing doubt and he is putting fear into you, saying that you won't be raptured. Don't feed into those lies. Hold every thought captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And when you get a thought, devil, I rebuke you. I rebuke this thought. In Jesus' name, I cast it down. And you proclaim who you are because you are a child of God. You are sealed with the blood of Christ. And you need to know who you are. Who your identity is. Because that's what he's attacking. He will attack your identity. And he's going to tell you that you will not be raptured. But if you have repented. And you have said the salvation prayer to receive Jesus as your Lord. And you mean it with your, all your heart. There's nothing to worry about. Because you are a child of God. And if you are seeking Him wholeheartedly with your heart and you're true, and He knows it, He's not going to leave you behind because you slipped into some sin. You know what I mean? He's not just make sure you repent of it every day. Because we're not perfect. We all fall short every day. I mean, it's easy to easy be around, to be out in the world and slip and say a cuss word. Man, where did that come from? I've been doing so good. But yet, you know, but that right there, that, that right there is a sin. But God's grace covers that. But it's still your responsibility to bring that to the Father and repent of the sins that you committed that day. You know, and we're washed clean with the next day. You know, so go, though God, God's grace is sufficient for us and it covers all of our sins, praise the Lord, you know, because when we are weak, we are made strong. And we, when we are weak, God really shows us how His grace works. But don't take advantage of it. And a lot of people are doing that. The church is doing that. They don't want to repent. They don't want to... They want to stay in their selfish ways. Not everybody, but a lot of the people. They don't want to follow Christ wholeheartedly. You know? People are getting divorced and just dropping their marriage like like that. Easy. Like nothing. Because they, they fell out of love. That person wasn't right for them. They were wrong. 
but there was a moment when that person just swept you off your feet and you got lost in that person's eyes and would talk for hours and it just won your heart over. Somewhere over time, the enemy entered in and he attacked that relationship. A marriage that prays together stays together because if a marriage that prays together, you're both are building your marriage on that foundation, on the rock. And if you're built on the rock, it's not going to fall. If you build your house on, on stone, it's not going to fall. But if you build your house on sand, it will fall. Same thing with your marriage. If you build your marriage on sand, it's going to fall. But if you build it with Jesus, it'll stay strong. And I don't even know where that came from. I mean, I know that's in the Bible, but I'm just, I don't know why I spoke on that. See, the Holy Spirit will just lead because maybe there's somebody right now that needs to hear that. And so the devil, he just wants to steal, kill, and destroy. And he wants to feed you lies. And he wants to attack your passion. And he wants to cause doubt and to cause, attack your faith, you know. there There's been times where he has attacked my faith and I would question if God is even real and that is insane because I have witnessed miracles shoot I am a miracle <laughs> I myself am a miracle my marriage is a miracle my husband is a miracle you know I have seen people get delivered I have seen demons literally you know people being delivered thrown on the ground by demons and I mean I've witnessed things I've witnessed miracles so I know that Jesus is real and nobody can't tell me any different but that's how strong delusion that the enemy can attack our minds to even question if God is real, but He is. He is real. The Son of God is real. And He is alive. And He is coming back. And if you are sealed with the blood of Jesus, and if you are sealed, and you have accepted Christ, Christ Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior, and you are true, and you love him, you have nothing to worry about. Just keep seeking him. Read your Bible. Pray like never before. We need to cling to him because deception and darkness is so strong upon this world. And I'm telling you to just, if you. <laughs> This altar, I'm telling you, build one. Apparently, there's many to build, and it's really is helping me. It's really if the whole if the Lord puts it in your heart, or if the Holy Spirit puts it into your heart to build one, because maybe you're just getting really bad attacks, and you need protection. You need, you need. You need more of God, you know, you need a miracle. You need that that sealing upon your home and a covering upon you and your your family. This altar it brings an anointing with it. I can't I you know, I don't even know how to explain it. It's so very amazing because it is such a pleasing aroma to the Father. It is such an, an a, a pleasing aroma, and it blesses him. It pleases him. And so when he's happy, you're going to be happy. You know? It's, there's a lot of spiritual warfare right now, and it's just going to get worse. Uh, but build your house upon that rock, and you will stand. So 
that's it. I'm going to read a little bit in my Bible, and I'm going to bed. So I love you guys. Good night.